2007. Yonatan Monsalve is the defending champion. I remember him last year. Jose Rojano, he won the year before. Tom Danielson is the oldest winner of the Tour de Kawi here. He won in 2003. And we have seen him at the Tour de France last year, finishing top 10. And Andrea Guardini, five times stage winner here last year. Yeah, Malaysia is a, a very special place for me. And, um, you know, when I was sitting down and, and talking with my director last year, uh, Jonathan Waters, about my race schedule, um, I heard that we had an opportunity to do the Tour of Malaysia, Tour of Langkawi, and uh, I immediately said, raised my hand, I said, let's go to that race, I really want to go to that race, and, and for me, this, this race is so, so special because I really started my career here. Um, it got me noticed in the European scene, got me to Europe on Fossa Bordolo, and um, I'm very, very, very thankful for this race, so I figure that I need to take it up a notch in my career, I need to to get out of that top 10 uh, mentality and, and get back to where I was uh, earlier in my career. And I feel that starting my season here uh, is the best way to, to start that path. Um, just great memories and, and already I've only been, I haven't even been here 24 hours and, and I'm already uh, really motivated. So it, it's an awesome place, great country, amazing race. Uh, how different is, is it for you to come back after making the top 10 of the Tour de France? Uh, it's, it's a different feeling, you know, I mean, it's a uh, different different race, different country, uh, different weather, different, uh, different sensations. But um, for me, I really, like I said, I really feel that, that uh, you know, guy, the guys like to my left here uh, are really at a very high level. And, and racing with these guys on Genting Highlands, I think this early in the season is, is what I need to get, uh, get going towards my goal in, the, in July. Do you think you can win it again? Win's a big word. Uh, it, it, it really doesn't mean a whole lot. I mean, I, I really can't quantify winning. I don't know what that means yet. There's going to be a lot of uh, obstacles. There's going to be a lot of great competition, a lot of great battles. So uh, I think I can ride well here, and we'll see what well means at the end of the race. And what do you think of the three last winners being in the same team? Ah, uh, yeah, they're terrifying for sure. Uh, these guys go really fast up, uphill, and, and uh, like I said, th there's no better place to be right now, this time of the year, racing uphill with, with these guys to my left. I've got a lot of respect for them. They're some of the best climbers in the world, um, and I think this time of year that they are the best guys going uphill this year in, in the world. So um, if I can be near them, that, that'll be really nice. Alex said uh, he's happy to uh, come back to the country where everything started for him. That this was his. Uh, his first professional race in uh, 1997, and his career uh, started from here. He said it's a bit hot, but uh, the presentation here today went very well, and uh, he's looking forward to uh, racing again tomorrow with the time trial. Uh, this will be his uh, first uh, stage race since he crashed badly in the Tour de France last year. And all the other sprinters this year. Uh, for this year, I think I have a good preparation and I have a good lead for the Lankawi. And uh, this year also I have a good teammate. I think I have no problem to win any of this this year and uh, try to uh, get a green jersey for this year.